Hello parents, welcome back to Kids A to Z. As promised, today I am going to share some mental math strategies for addition. Our first strategy is counting on. This is a beginning mental math strategy. Counting on means that we need to start with the biggest number in an equation and then count up. But one thing we need to keep in mind that only we can use this strategy when adding 1, 2, 3 or 4 to a number. Example, for 3 plus 5, we need to start with the biggest number that is here 5 and then count up to 3 that is 6, 7, 8. Similarly, for 2 plus 113, we need to start with 113 and then count up. 114, 115. Our second strategy is doubles. This is one set of facts that should be memorized. Doubles are all around us like think of fingers and toes that is 5 plus 5, wheels on a car that is 2 plus 2. We can also extend this strategy for big numbers. Next is doubles plus 1. Here we need to first use doubles and then add one more. Like to add 5 plus 6, the double of 5 is 10 plus 1 more is 11 and that is the answer. For 8 plus 9, the double of 8 is 16 plus 1 is 17. We can also apply this strategy for bigger number also. This strategy is doubles plus 2. Here we need to use doubles and then add 2 more. If you want to add 5 plus 7, that is the double of 5 is 10 plus 2 more is 12. Similarly, for 9 plus 11, the double of 9 is 18 plus 2 more is 20. We can also apply this strategy for bigger numbers. Next is making 10. Kids should try to memorize the number combinations that make 10. That is 3 plus 7 equals to 10, 4 plus 6 equals to 10 or 5 plus 5 equals to 10. Using this strategy, if 4 plus 6 equals to 10, then 40 plus 60 equals to 100 and 400 plus 600 equals to 1000 like that. Next strategy is adding tens or hundreds or thousands. We have to use the place value understanding to add tens to a number. Some examples are to add 22 plus 10. We need to add one more group of 10 to the tens place of 22. So the answer will be 3 tens plus 2 ones that is 32. Using the same logic we can add multiples of 10 or 100 or 1000. For example, if we want to add 34 plus 20, that means we need to add 2 more groups of 10. That is 5 tens plus 4 ones. That is 54. Next strategy is plus 8 and 9. That means taking some away from one added and giving them to 8 or 9 to make a 10. Like for 7 plus 8, we know that 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. So, we will take 2 from 7 and give it to 8 to make a 10. Now, the new equation will be 5 plus 10, which is much easier equation. We can also extend this strategy like use this strategy larger numbers that is ending in 8 or 9. For example, for 29 plus 6, we will take 1 from 6 and we will give it to 29 to make 30. So, the new equation will be 30 plus 5. Next is using friendly numbers. The strategy is make a friendly number first. 
friendly number means a number ending in 0 and then add the rest with that number. For 16 plus 7, we need to first add 4 with 16 to get the friendly number 20. Now we have already taken 4 from 7, so only 3 is left. So now we need to solve 20 plus 3, which is much easier equation than 16 plus 7. Next strategy is left to right addition. That means in a two digit equation, we need to add the tens first and then the ones. To add 13 plus 26, we need to add first 1 ten plus 2 tens and then 3 ones with 6 ones. So 10 plus 20 equals to 30 and 3 plus 6 equals to 9. Now we need to add 30 plus 9 that is 39. Similarly we can apply this strategy for bigger number also like to add 231 plus 157 we need to start with hundreds place first then tens at last ones. Next strategy is break up the second number. Okay, let us see an example. If we want to add 25 plus 41, here second number is 41. So, we need to break 41 as 40 and 1. Now, we will add 25 plus 40 equals to 65. But, 1 is left. Now, we need to add 1 with the result that is 65. So, the answer is 66. Next is compensation method. Compensation is where you round up a number to make adding easier and then take away the extra after you have added. It will be more clear with an example. Here at first we need to add 14 and 19. So here we round up the number 19 as 20 because it is a much easier equation and the result is 34. Since we added 1 to the equation, we now need to subtract 1 from the answer to compensate for the adjustment. So, we need to subtract 1 from 34. Similarly, to add 395 and 126, we will round up the number 395 as 400. Since we added 5 to the equation, we now need to subtract 5 from the answer. To compensate for the adjustment. Here I would like to mention one thing. The best way to get better at mental maths is to practice daily. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching Kids A to Z.